How soon after Frozen hit theaters did was were there plans for a sequel? Well, when it first hit theaters, we were just so struck by the phenomenon that it became and audience reaction around the world. You know, uh, it was just so exciting to watch. And it, it was probably a year after that where we started to work on the short. And I think in the process of working on the short, we realized how much we had missed, you know, Anna and Elsa and Christoph Sven, the whole gang. Uh, and it's, that's really uh, the seed of starting to talk about, are there questions that you know, we didn't answer with the first film? Are there things that we wanted to know or Anna and Elsa wanted to know? Uh, and the more we sort of dug into that, the more we realized we had more story to tell. And I think what uh, Chris Buck and Jen Lee did a brilliant job of is weaving the two movies together. So it should really feel like it was always planned as one epic adventure. I heard that there were a lot of different iterations from the first draft of Frozen, the first one, and what we saw on screen. Have there been any changes to the Frozen 2 script? The process has been very similar. We have a, a general idea of where we want to go. and we, we Like the first film, we have an ending that, that we knew on. That was our true north. But how to earn that, how to um, create that that feeling that we wanted to get by the end of the film, that's that's a process that every film goes through. And, and so the script is rewritten many times, songs are written, and then they're great songs, but for one reason or another, they get tossed out in favor of another song. And it's, it's a process of evolution. It's really very late in the game where all those pieces connect just the way you need it to, to, to create that, that experience that uh, audience, we want the audiences to have. Now you and your animation team went on a research trip for yes. the process of Frozen 2. Yes. What did you discover? Where did you go? We went to Norway and Finland and Iceland, and there was so much we gained from that trip. First of all, um, just the environment, the sort of fairy tale environment of Norway and Finland um, really made us feel at home. You could see Anna, you know, um, walking through the woods there, um, and the, the color and the, the color palette was very vibrant, and that influenced the movie. Con conversely, when we went to Iceland, the contrast between Iceland and Norway is very extreme. Uh, and we realized that Elsa actually felt more comfortable in that environment to us. Uh, and we realized that Elsa is more of a mythic character where she carries the weight of the world on her shoulders and she goes places that others can't. And, and, and uh, El Anna felt the fairy tale character in Norway. So that helped us develop the story. And then just our team being together for two and a half weeks, immersed in these worlds, it opens up your imagination, it, it allows a bonding between the team, so creativity really begins to flow on these trips, and then we come home and start making the movie. I saw Frozen, the live theatrical version, yes. in Disneyland a couple of years ago, and of course now it's on Broadway. Yes. Will there ever be plans for a Frozen live movie? You know, right now, um, we, we haven't talked about that for sure. Um, we, you know, we with, with the sequel coming out, we are focused on animation. That's the world we love. Um, we believe we can bring so much to um, uh, these characters, these environments uh, uh, through animation. Uh, that's, that's our specialty at Disney Animation Studios. You were saying that Frozen 2 isn't complete yet. So what still needs to be done on it to make it ready for audiences? Well, animation wrapped a few weeks ago. Then we have to do Tech Anim, which just finished, which is the hair and the cloth, um, uh, all the clothing they wear gets put on after that. Effects is finishing this week. That's the the, the, the wind and the fire and you know rain, all those, uh, the ocean. That's all the effects artists. And we still have um, other departments to go. Uh, we have lighting, which gives its final color and look. And then we have um, orchestration yet to do. In fact, they're starting orchestrations uh, uh, today, tomorrow, and Friday, so that'll be exciting. Sound effects, all the post-production stuff is still still to come. I had no idea that there's such a tight turnaround in between when you actually get the film completely complete and it opens up in theaters. Well, we talk about the, that we'll keep working on the movie until they rip it out of our hands and put it in the theater, and that, that is certainly how it feels with this one. Well, I can't wait to see it. I know I'm not the only one who's desperate to see Frozen 2. Right. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you.